Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. In this video series, I'm going to show you what's involved with coding your E46 BMW after you've done an, an auto to manual swap. Now, in order to code your modules, what you need is a software called INPA because INPA comes with a program called NCS Expert. And NCS Expert is what we're going to use to do the coding. Now, to get INPA, well, first of all, you actually need some hardware before you even need that software. You need something called an INPA cable. I got mine on eBay. If you go ahead and search for INPA cable, this is what it looks like right here. So you see there's a bunch of different sellers that sell them. Most of them come from China. I'll just click on this one. See, they're pretty cheap, about $15. This is what it looks like right here. It's a K plus DCAN cable. That's also what it says. Now you see this one, it comes with software, and you can see that this is just a CD that you know they're burning themselves. What happens is that they actually, some of the cables will come with, INP, with some version of INPA. This is my, this is what mine came with. This is a copy of the CD. You see it has two different versions of INPA in here. Um, I'm not going to show you how to install these versions because not all of you will get this cable and will get this exact same CD. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install a version that you can get from the, the message boards. I just want to show you real quick that you should actually get drivers for your cable with this CD as well. And my drivers were in this folder right here. They're in driver DCAN USB. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cable to my computer here. And um, I unfortunately I wasn't able to sort of uninstall the driver and, and take you through the whole installation of the driver and everything. But it's kind of, you know, it's basic. You guys should know how to install drivers at this point. Um, but if we go over to hardware, go into the device manager, you go into ports, you see right here it says USB serial port, that is the, the, the cable right there. And when it installs itself, it puts itself on COM3. So what you need to do is you need to go in here, go to properties, go to port settings, advanced, and we want to change that from COM3 to COM1. And we also want to change the latency to 1 as well. Hit OK. Scan for changes. There we go, COM1. So now our cable is all done and all set up. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm working on Windows XP here. Uh, you need to have XP, or you need to at least have a 32-bit version of Windows. Probably Windows 7 32-bit would work. Um, but you can't run NCS Expert on a 64-bit machine. It just won't work. Right now, I'm actually in a VMware virtual image. That I have installed. I've just got you know um, Windows XP set up and running. You can download a free version of XP from Microsoft that will run with VMware, um, but you can only download it if you're running Windows 7. You can't download it if you're running Windows 10. I don't know why, but so that's that. And I'm going to leave the whole Windows XP thing up to you guys. You're going to have to figure out how to get a, a running working copy of XP. Okay, so now I'm going to show you where to get the INPA software. There is a thread on the message board called Making Sense of INPA, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to link this thread in the description of this video so you know where to check it out. So now you can see this guy, he just, he compiled all of this information about INPA and INPA cables and all the software and all this stuff and you know he just gave you links to everything you know here's a version of INPA 6.4.3 the problem is all of these links are all dead now because this thread was posted back in 2011 so all these these links are dead but that's okay the people in this thread know that and if you go to the last page in this thread which is page 19 I believe yeah page 19 we scroll down right here, this post, which is post 452, this right here is a link to a four shared folder that has all of the software in it. You, you see that the password is Bimmer right here. So if we go ahead and log in, so right here, the password is Bimmer. I'm going to type that in. Okay, now you need to be logged into ForShared in order to download things. You can see that I'm, I'm already logged in over here. It's free to register for an account. You just need to give them an email. They're going to send you a verification email. You just verify your account, and then you're good to go. Then you would actually see this download link here, okay? without If you're not logged in, you're not going to see that download link. 
Now let's go into the install folder. Before we start, you want to download DT Lite, which is Daemon Tools. I've already downloaded it and installed it. We need this because it gives us a virtual CD-ROM drive so that we can mount a, a, a CD image, a CD image that you would use to burn to a blank CD. Um, so that you need to install that. You also need to download VMware Workstation. I'm already running inside of VMware, as I showed you guys. This is it up here. We're, we're, we're doing this inside of VMware already. You would only need this if you wanted to go ahead and run um, EasyDIS or SS and Progman. Those are, th those are the uh, dealership softwares, the old version of the dealer software that the dealers used to run like 20 years ago. You can download those, install those. There are install guides and everything. So you only need VMware if, you, if you're going to do that. But if you want to run Windows XP, if you want to if you want to run a virtual Windows XP like I am, if you're you know let's say if you're running on Windows 7 or something, you also need VMware just to even do that. So grab that if you if you're if you're interested in that. And then WinRAR, you need WinRAR in order to unpack some RAR files. So once you install all those things, we can go ahead and go to the one folder and we're going to download this one, INPA 3. Point, and the EDI boss. So this is the same 6.4.3 that we saw before. We'll just go ahead and download that. It's going to take you to this page with a couple ads on it. We're going to hit download. And it's probably going to turn this page into an ad. So I'll have to hit download again. We're trying to get to this page right here where it says waiting for 60 seconds. Let me close this ad. Now we have to hit free download. And let's just wait for 60 seconds and then the download will automatically start. As you can see, the download has automatically started. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to need to log back in to the foreshare folder because of the way it messed up my window there. So we'll go back into install back into INPA. Now we'll go into optional. We're going to download this one, this updated.rar as well. You can see that my first download is finished. We'll download that one too. So you can see that download has also automatically started. We'll just wait for that one to finish up. So feel free to look through all the rest of this stuff. This is all BMW related software. NCS Dummy, I think we're actually going to be using this in part three of this video series. Uh, that'll just help us to sort of do some option coding in the modules. Okay, we are all downloaded. Let's go ahead and show our downloads. We can get rid of this web browser. Now what we want to do is unpack all these archives. I'm going to extract them to individual folders. Okay, so now we're going to go into this folder. Now you see how there is a, a .nrg file? That is actually for Nero Burning ROM. That's like an ISO file for Nero Burning ROM. We, you, if you had Nero, you can, you, you can burn this file directly to a DVD. But we don't have that, so that's why we installed Demon Tools Lite. Demon Tools is going to let us mount that file in our virtual DVD ROM drive. And that is going to be, let's go out to my computer. Right here, the E drive for me. We're going to go into the reference folder, go into the install folder, and we're going to run this program right here. Hit OK, I'm going to hit English, continue, continue, continue. I'm going to choose USA. And now I'm going to check all of these. We actually don't need some of these things. This Win KFP, that's for actually updating your ECU version. I've never used it, but I'm just going to install everything. I'm going to leave that as OBD. Start the install. Okay, now we're going to hit end. So we're all done with that. Now, we can actually stop here if we want to, guys. We actually have a version of INPA and NCS Expert that will work. So if you if you don't want to go any farther, you can just stop here. It's all working. But this is version 3.0.8. There is a slightly newer version of all this stuff, and uh, so let's. I'm going to show you how to install that as well. So before I do that, I'm going to unmount that CD image, unmount all drives. So we're going to go into INPA 502 updated. 
and we're just going to run all of these one by one. Just leave everything as it is. Com1. Now, it's not going to be able to find this NFS folder. It expects it to be in this ECAPS folder, but it's not. So we need to go and navigate for it and just tell it where the, the actual NFS program is. And the same thing for INPA. We're just going to go navigate and find where INPA is. Hit OK. And now when it installs it, it's going to move them all into that new ECAPS folder. And I'll do a restart real quick. Let's pop back in here. And now we'll run step two. All right, let's hit OK. English, continue, continue. Choose USA. Now we're going to choose update. Update and complete. We'll let it delete the old version and install the new version. Okay, all finished. Hit end. For some reason, it pauses on that end whenever I hit end. It's really weird. Okay, finally. So now we have this folder. We can close that down. Now, before we run step three, we're going to do something. We're going to open up my computer, go to C. Go to NCS Expert, go to the config dat folder. This this file right here, NCS Expert.txt, you see inside here, this has all of the strings that uh, that translate you know the various buttons inside the program into English. We're gonna make a copy of this file. We're gonna save this. Let's hit control C and then control V. That's just copy of NCS Expert.txt. That's going to be important later because when we run step three, it's going to overwrite that file with a version that has German uh, strings in it, and you're not going to be able to tell what the what what button does what. Now, before we run step three, we we need to move this into the root of our C drive. So let's go to C and then hit Control V to paste, and we're going to run it in the C drive. This is going to pop up. Everything should say OK right here. Hit any key. Hit OK. 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 Hit any key to continue. That's it. We're done with that. Can delete that file. Now we need to double click on serialport.reg. Hit yes and hit OK. Let's double check these instructions. I think there was one more thing that we needed to do. We need to copy OBD from the EDI Boss bin folder to our Windows directory. So let's go up to my computer, C drive, EDI Boss, bin, and let's find obd.ini. OBD. There it is, over there in the corner. So hit Control C, go up. Going into our Windows folder, we're going to hit Control V, and we should see it down there, down at the bottom. And that's it. We are done with that. Now let me show you. If we run NCS Expert, you can see how it says Barish right here, and you can see how it's all everything is going to be in German. Okay, so we need to fix that. Let's go back into my computer, go into C, go into NCS Expert, config dat. And we have our copy of NCS Expert. Let's take a look at what it put in there. You can see how it's all in German, right? Screw that. So let's just back that up. We'll call it Jur. Yes. And we're going to rename this. Now, if we run NCS Expert, chassis. Now everything's good again. So that's it. You have now installed INPA and NCS Expert. If we open up INPA, this is, I believe, the latest version of INPA. Let's see what that version is, 
and that's what it looks like and you can use INPA to read uh, you know the errors and do all sorts of bidirectional controls and all that stuff it's a great diagnostic tool this is the factory tool and we're not going to run it now NCS expert is going to be for coding our modules we can use that to change the vehicle order we can also use that to change the various options inside of each module so I think I will I will, I'm going to make two different videos. I'm going to make one on changing the vehicle order, which is what we have to do to get rid of that little cog icon in the instrument cluster, as well as get rid of our check engine light. And then I'll do a final video on just how to use NCS Expert to change all the various options and all the little modules and stuff. We'll use NCS Expert and we'll use NCS Dummy to help translate the the, the, the files, the config files that we pull out of each module. But anyway, stay tuned for all that, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'm the 50s Kid. Thanks a lot for watching.